Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I'm gonna walk you through how you check your salt for its ICP results online. All right, so I was just online chatting with a buddy of mine about um, some ICP results that he just got recently. And he was trying to troubleshoot a couple of things just um, in some uh, trace elements and some heavy metals in his tank that he's just not quite sure where they're coming from. And um, I posed the question of what's the uh, salt like that you're putting into the tank? So we can just rule out that question before um, we try to work out what's happening in his tank. If we know there's no metals going in the tank, we can, we can progress. And at that point in time, he said, I'm not sure. I, I haven't been able to do a heavy metal test on uh, my new salt water. Um, now, it took me as a bit of a surprise because I know that he uses Aquaforest um, salt. And um, I know for a fact that uh, every one of these tubs from Aquaforest have got this thing, uh, this little mark on the front here that says, check your salt online. And because Aquaforest have their own ICP machine, they can actually, every time they do a batch of salt, they take three samples of it and do an ICP test. And then every bucket has, a batch number here that you can then look up and then uh, see what the um, parameters are for that salt. So you know, if you've got an ICP test basically for free with your new salt, that tells you what the water's like going into your tank. So let's jump on their website and check out how easy it is to uh, bring that up. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is jump onto the Aquaforest website, which the best thing about this is you can actually do it from your phone while you're at um, your local fish shop and you're checking out the uh, batches of salt. You're gonna jump into the um, seawater side, and uh, once that loads, I apologize for my internet. We're gonna jump into products. And then we're gonna jump into a reef salt. Now, I think you can go into any of these salts here. They've all got the um, same link, but uh, you scroll down here and you can see where it says, click and check the parameters of your salt. Literally, all you do is click there. It'll open up a new page. You could probably bookmark this if you wanted to do it all the time. And you see you get the full uh, spiel here from uh, the team about uh, how the the quality certificates are now available online and how they um, grab, they, they mix their salt in one ton, one metric ton batches. They grab three separate samples per batch, how they identify the batches, etc., etc. But in the uh, mindset of keeping this video as quick as possible, I'm gonna quickly fill in my details here. It says your email's not required, your phone's not required. Only thing you really need is the batch number, which is off the side of the drum or the, or the bucket, 905. You got to give consent and uh, then click results. And then uh, the ICP results come up. Now, it is worth pointing out that this is if you uh, mix the salt to a uh, salinity of 33, um, which is about 1.024. Um, so if you mix it a bit stronger, each of these elements will be a little bit higher than this, but um, this is a good starting point. So you can see um, as I scroll through, some things like aluminium, there's a little bit in there, well within range, 0.033. Um, all of these other values are coming up zero, which is great. There's no phosphate or PO4. Um, you can see our uh, bromide and borons are around the right sort of mark. Calcium's coming in pretty well right in the middle of the range. The uh, potassium is probably at the lower end uh, for the range. It's still within the range, but a little bit lower. Um, magnesium's probably a touch higher. You can see the salt content, um, strontium. And we've got um, some uh, iodine, uh, manganese, vanadium. All of our elements are listed here. Now, in fact, one here that has pointed out to me a little bit is the lithium. And you can see that's just, in this batch alone, is just testing just an absolute fraction above the recommended range. Um, and if my friend was having issues with lithium, I'd probably say that it might be worth trying a different batch of salt. Um, now, instead of going out to the store and buying a bucket and then coming home and testing the uh, value only to find the next one's even higher or, or something like that, he can take this link in on his phone and actually look at the batch numbers in store and grab the batch of salt, which has got the lowest lithium value for him. And conversely, if you're looking to bump up your lithium value, you might be looking through the batches to find one that has a higher lithium value because there's no use buying salt and a lithium supplement if you can do it in one and save yourself some money. Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you on the, uh, the verifying of uh, the salt um, with Aquaforest salts online. Super quick little video, but um, something that uh, just I don't think a lot of people were aware that you can get a full ICP result of the salt water that you're buying. So, well worth knowing. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye.